Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim the name of Allah the most merciful the most beneficial ladies and gentlemen assalamu alaikum man ittabalta I would like to begin my welcoming my fellow delegate to this auspicious event which begin help raise awareness our awareness from the different cultural diplomacy the need for us all continue this very crucial international dialogue i extend, extend my thanks and gratitude to the founder of icd and general director mr mark and his team this event continuing his important work the last event was we are here in last january 2017 from which we benefit and learn a great deal about the virus means and platform through which we should develop our individual common goals and that of the icd the objective is clear on the idea that the more of collectively engage the discussion the greater will be our appreciate appreciation of the fact of uh, respecting diversity is the key to the more peaceful world turning now to the issue of which i wish to say a few words about your consideration today is subject is very important subject is terrorism what mean terrorism we must understand this uh, some people you know this uh, some people is wrong way is meaning terrorism the islamophobia the islamic way is the culture is terrorism it is the absolutely wrong i would like to say a few words about this this subject is uh, terrorism and who made the terrorism the, the we are threat to worldwide threat from terrorist people this everywhere faith non faith everywhere how we uh, together we are uh, attempt this those people is action we are uh, uh, raised awareness together that uh, again is those those people is terrorism terrorist people uh, my dear colleague turning now to the issue of the which i wish to say a few word for your consideration is the subject of terrorism and the manner in which we should respond across all culture and community to this world this worldwide threat the victim of the ideology that fear and violence is an acceptable means to an end are all in habitants of the world terrorism is indiscriminate in the way it is work however the effect of terrorism has been given various guises in our time and it is no secret that one uh, it is no secret that the one that concern me as a muslim in approximately 1.5 billion other muslim globally is the use this incorrect terminology of islamic terrorism often banned in the media and sensationalized way to the which it become crystal for islam phobia the various parts of the world in fact there is a, no such thing is terrorism in islam it is that clear it is the expressly forbidden to engage in such a proceedings at any time of completely against the teaching of religion of peace and community the use of the term, term has indeed allowed the very participation participation of the by of the unacceptable acts of the hijack positive and productive way of the life of propagated in islam and corrupt the teaching such that parts of the world wide world such as syria iraq afghanistan many other country 
and European capitals such as Madrid, Paris, uh, <coughs> more recently London, this very summer during the holy month of Ramadan, terrorists have attempted to justify their evil action in the name of Islam and Muslim. Their actions are endemated by all Muslim and non-Muslim. Because, let's be clear, the victims of the, this attack were indeed people of multiple faith and non-faith. A good example of the way in which Londoners have responded to both the media attack on Islam and the cruel intention the terrorist is to uni unity under the banner of peace and mutual respect. The Prime Minister of the UK, Theresa May, in fact highlighted this issue beautifully after the London Bridge attack when she said, at time like this when they seek to divide us and create hatred, we more show more compassion and love for each other across community and stick closer together. The same objective with, uh, with which the ICT gather today. In order to understand the issue of terrorism, we must appreciate it is origin is origin and these are not founded in any teaching of Islam. In the teaching of Quran, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, peace and blessing upon him has been referred to being the barrier of glad ending, tithing and envoy of peace for the whole, whole of mankind. There is a further saying within Ibar's verses of the Quran that there is a no complication of in religious. Even during the lifetime of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the efforts of earlier Medina society were to draft a charter which were, would facilitate suicide, cohesion, mutual respect between faith and culture within Jewish, Christian, any other religions and those of no faith to exist with common goals and the desire of the celebrated the human humanity which underlays our existence moving forward there is a pressing need to the sharing of information and consideration of the closure between community and ensure that if efforts of the who which the perpetrator of the terrorist in ideology we are challenging them both intellectually by by their continue have great text there is a continuing to build the cons constructive relationship in trade business travel opportunities such that uh, everyone can come to the no understand the true islamic teaching and also opposed to the various of few who have regard for the uh, actual objective of the faith of islam in conclusion i hope that under the banner of icd we can continue highlighting this important issue, including need to tackle terrorism through the research, debate, and continue social vigilance and human rights, must allow take risk. Uh, uh, we must challenge all injustice being the, the perpetrated globally. There is a in innumerable statistics which can be uh, seated on this side if divide which show that 
are terrorist activity, activities have taken place, the perpetrators have often been misled by misguided by the other who have displayed again agenda. They have been this uh, designation of the youth, uh, especially youth people, sadly many in instances who do, who have little no uh, actual knowledge of the real purpose of the ideology. They have prepared the age of social media where communication has become advance uh, ever quickly there is a greater need of the us uh, ensure the from the very top those in position power knowledge and influence must make a greater eff uh, efforts that they correct the situation quickly and effectively i thank you all for listening and hope that coming day we can all continue benefit from each other, express uh, insights such that we can live having again uh, celebrated the fact that by embracing diversity we can create the more peaceful world. Thank you. But is other thing I would like to say about uh, my subject of terrorism, the diversity, how we the tackle the terrorists in the World War III. This other thing is I would like to say is terrorists are now the number one terrorist the Burma. Government the killing innocent people in the Burma. We must uh, raise our uh, awareness, our boys, and we must uh, uh, shoulder to shoulder against those people, it's the innocent people, genocide people in the Burma. This is the important I highlight is especially we from our event we highlight this uh, uh, special subject of, for, for the Burma everywhere, this especially United Nations and your country is uh, however you ca you come from any country, we must highlight it, this uh, issue for the immediately stop this uh, uh, killing Bar Bar Burma. Thank you again and thank you, Mark, uh, for the this uh, special event. And we hope this uh, again we meet uh, soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Questions or comments? No. Yes, okay, please. and also uh, a state of anger and frustration, which is explained in the frustration aggression theory that even the educated illiterate could go out of anger to revolt against a government that they, they feel is unjust to a group of people like the going on in social media with respect to this Rohingyan uh, crisis are comments from people I believe uh, the Muslims who are not happy about it and a lot of them are calling on jihad so there seems to be a massive scale of misconception of that word jihad uh, so I, I don't know if the religious leaders in the Muslim world justice in preaching what jihad really means, which leads to the global misconception you have now. So First of all, thank you, because there's so many questions. First of all, I want to highlight this jihad. What means jihad? You know, this jihad is the Quran mentioned many times of the jihad come for against the terrorism, against the, those people killing innocent people everywhere, this, or this have faith, non-faith. A jihad is wrong way. This is a, uh, 
you know, some people say, if you hear jihad, is uh, scared, you know, this jihad, jihad is like it is. No, it is the ab uh, absolutely wrong. Because jihad come for the, those people killing innocent people, killing the genocide. Again, it's genocide is come jihad. Jihad come for the peaceful world. Because jihad is Quran is mentioned many times. Because Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is upon him. He's for the jihad, you know, again, it's those people, is the killing the uh, innocent people. It's jihad is the it's good word, you know. <laughs> Not is some people is wrong way. This jihad is uh, maybe something is extreme, it's like this, it's not this wrong. Other thing, you know, this uh, I example, the how, who is the create this terrorist people? You say the three things, something educated is, now is what happening is 450,000 people come from Burma to uh, Myanmar to Bangladesh border. Now is the refugee. Those people is uh, son, is a teenage, when become is angry, go back there, this, uh, 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 this, uh, their country, is go back, when go back, how is the anger? Because those people, he or she, this, uh, this boy and girl, see how to kill her mom, how to kill her uh, his parents, how, they, there is angry. They, maybe it's from one side is come here, that there is the anger people is come to for the, like this terrorist uh, activities. Other thing is everywhere we know every, every we know is uh, how who is the created the everywhere jihad is Afghanistan Pakistan like this but is this the political issue we don't want to talk like this because <laughs> we know everywhere the who is the created but we must drop our our public awareness from the uh, with the uh, shoulder to shoulder we we want to peaceful world we need do something is the government, other government is uh, something nicely. We need this, however you Africa, Asia, Arab, Middle East, we need peaceful world is, and we living this together, this shoulder to shoulder, faith, non-faith, religious, non-religious. This way is the, it is the cultural diplomacy is the organized this event. It's a uh, culture and jihad, we must know this teaching we must know everything this, uh, from your culture, from our Islamic culture. This is, uh, uh, it is the important thing for us. Thank you. Additional questions or comments? Yes, I want to comment. Good. Uh, well, I think the issue of Myanmar, I just want to tell you, and you are also very much aware that this issue was just became a limelight in the last three, four months. And there is a, what I should say, the approval silence from the international forces, including China, America, and other parts of the world. And you understand very well that the, why the Chinese are silent, because actually their economic interests start from there and end up there. And on that, on that part, Bangladesh has also some inter economic interests with China. So everyone is silent for their economic interests. So the point that I want to make is our world at community level, family level, at uh, national level or at international level, we are tied up, we are bind of our economic interests. And in order to develop uh, such crisis, the <coughs> role of the economic forces and economic, economic interests can never be undermined. You, I think some of the friends asked me yesterday the question in private discussions that what did Pakistan for the Myanmar? The Pakistan National Assembly passed a resolution against that. So it's mean it's a national consensus and national stance over the Burma situation and we condemned that our political forces condemn that. But the issue is, who is responsible doing so? UN, Muslim community? The answer is, every one of us, each of us, but me and you are handcuffed. We can't do anything. Actually, the states have to do this. And we understand very well, the state's agenda, whether it is Pakistan, Bangladesh, America, or something else, it's different. And we, 
the cultural diplomats or maybe human rights defender or the peace act activists, we need to tell the people the real truth rather than promoting the idea of any political government, political party or sect. We should also understand that why this issue of the Myanmar raised. Yes, in July and August, they killed their people. And I condemn the Myanmar government because the response is too severe, too severe to accept. Yes, there are movements, but we should not only see the one picture. If we show, if we do anything unintentionally, in with bad intentions, and our, it's a beautiful quote of a holy prophet, peace be upon him, everything depends upon intention. If I, even I do bad thing with right intention, it will be happen, I believe by God. But even if I do the good thing, but my intention is bad, it will nothing happen. The problem is, I'm going to, going to wind up there, problem is, in South Asia and Islamic countries, our leaders, they are raising the issue of Myanmar with a bad intention. They just want to manipulate and use this situation for their benefit. Like, look at our Turkish friend, what he is doing? They have a lot. What is he doing? He is using this to show himself or to come up as a leader of a Muslim community. And my all Turkish and other friends know that how, uh, it, 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 it won't be never ever possible. China, uh, the Iran, Saudi Arabia, they will not allow ever to do so. I would like to appreciate the stance of the Pope Francis here, who condemned this outrightly, and he is, uh, thanks God, he is going there in November to highlight the issue. On a, on a, on a public diplomacy, diplomacy level, he is discussing it from time to time and highlighting it with clear understanding, with clear intention that this is not a religious matter. My friend, the problem is the Muslim leaders, they are making it a religious problem. It is not a religious problem, it's an ethnic and economic oriented problem which must be addressed in its economic and ethnical dimension rather than religious one. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sabir. I agree with you because, you know, China is other countries. Now it's no one talking about, you know, United Nations only when it's happening 21st is August, is beginning is uh, this uh, genocide from uh, Myanmar. First is Turkey, first lady is come Bangladesh. When we when receive the, the foreign minister at the airport, say, take some water. Uh, Turkey's first lady say, I don't want water, it's anything. When I see my, this, uh, this people is Myanmar people. Then she traveled to Dhaka to uh, uh, Cox Bazar is 400 miles. Then uh, uh, first see, then is uh, take water. It is the important lesson for us. Because this Erdogan is uh, yesterday, is before yesterday, the United Nations say it is the big issue. But no one is any, you say, is Saudi, is other uh, countries, uh, nothing. is strongly not uh, awareness boys. It is the for, for us, sadly, uh, this Muslim country not say anything about the, this crisis. But now, it is the problem, not only is, is religious problem, this humanity problem. If is, you, even Hindu is come from uh, Myanmar to Bangladesh, this Hindu religious. It is the not religious problem or Muslim problem. That's why I may agree, Dr. Sabir, with you. We must take awareness our voice, we must raise our voice, and every Muslim country, Bangladesh Prime Minister, is, uh, when is Turkey First Lady go see this, those refugee people, then Bangladesh Prime Minister, after two days, oh, they are is traveling to see the, those people. And uh, especially, you know, this everywhere uh, peacekeeping force in the worldwide is South Africa, Ghana, is Bangladeshi force is the especially everywhere is good uh, intention is taking every, especially Uganda, this uh, crisis. But even our demand must some uh, peacekeeping people from the force going to Myanmar and save those lives and to protect them. It is the important issue. And Muslim countries now is quiet. No one talking. I don't know why. It is the uh, this problem, the worldwide problem.
Thank you. Let's express our gratitude once again. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you very much for the presentation.